Welcome back. We are doing the recording of 14th of February's Godly Blessing. Now, how do we get protected from the dirt of Maya? In simple ways, how will God protect us when we are about to do something which is going to be sinful? How is this protection going to come to us? So when somebody loves you, that person automatically guides you in the right direction. And so does God. He also has his ways of guiding us with his divine wisdom. And during Kalyug, during the end of Kalyug, when all the other different religious texts and people have at some level failed to help humanity rise in its own consciousness, that means to become someone who is without lust and anger and greed and ego and attachment, when the institutions have failed, all the institutions, that's the time God has to come down and he has to give us a guidance and he has to speak out the versions of what exactly is the right karma and let us know how to be peaceful and how to be presentable in front of him. So let's understand from his own words what does he have to say. Supreme Father says, may you be a karma yogi and stay safe from the dirt of Maya. Karma yogi, that means when you're doing any karma, we can either, as for yesterday's blessing, either be very thoughtful about our thoughts. That means we are checking our thoughts and then doing a karma. And how do we check it? We put those thoughts in front of God and then do the karma. That is what is known as karma yogi. So may you be a karma yogi and stay safe from the dirt of Maya. Maya means thoughts of lust, anger, greed, ego attachment and many other negativities. By living like a lotus on the field of action. So lotus is a symbol of purity. On the field of action means this is karma chetra or guru chetra. And we are on this earth doing our acting. All of us, you and me included. So a karma yogi, someone who is doing karma, any kind of action and being connected to God is in other words, a lotus flower. That means somebody who is so pure and divine in his own thoughts, words and actions. To be a karma yogi means that both your actions and your yoga are combined and you don't experience any burden from any act you perform. That means you don't get tired. You don't feel as if you need some, pers some persons or any people to cheer you up, to make you feel better, to give you name and fame or to applaud you. And that is what it means to be a karma yoga. That means you're taking everything from God itself and you don't need anything from anybody around you. You don't need any cheering up. You don't need any kind of applause. And you are protected by not going into either ego, extreme ego, because of the praise, and you're not going to go into extreme sadness or demotivation because of no praise. So God says, you are being a karma yogi means you are taking all your love and happiness and joy from me while doing your even small menial work in your house. So then God says, so you won't have any burden from any act you perform. So how do we feel burdened? We feel burdened when we do something and we expect something in return. And when it doesn't come, we are like, oh, I put in so much of energy. And that, that you see, that kind of thinking which goes and takes us into the wrong direction. And what did I get in return? And that is the burden which we start putting onto ourselves. So let no type of dirt. How does the dirt come into our mind? We start complaining. We start comparing. We start even uh, finding faults in others. And that's where the burden increases. No type of dirt. That is no vibration of Maya touch you. Maya takes birth when a soul has some weakness. And the way of way to finish weakness is to listen to the daily Murli. Now, what is Murli? If you've done the seven day course, you will understand what is the power of Murli. It is a sweet sound of knowledge which we read out on a daily basis so as to keep our intellect in the right direction for that day and to be careful about what can happen to us in that particular day. This is powerful and nourishing fresh food. When you digest this food with churning power, that means you listen to the muli and you contemplate about it. Why did God say that? Why did Father say that? And when you contemplate about this and you apply that into your own life and you put it, okay, this is my situation and these are the points of the murli. Like in yesterday's, God said that you be very careful about your thoughts. Check them in front of me. Put them in front of me and offer them in front of me and check them whether those thoughts are divine, pure or not. And then only you take forward all those thoughts into your words and your actions so that 
they are very powerful actions so same thing you can do by churning the knowledge which you receive on a daily basis in the brahma kumari centers murlis even though you can receive them online it is always better to actually go to the center sit in that atmosphere of powerful vibration so that you can absorb the murli faster as compared to just reading it in your home where your vibrations might not be conducive for you to learn something so this is powerful and nourishing fresh food for who the soul when you digest this food with churning power you will stay safe from maya's dirt that means you'll be protected from taking any wrong action or having any form of negative impurity in your thoughts for a situation for a person and that could pull you into doing some wrong action so this is the way of god protecting us and helping us to become someone who's pure and divine in our actions and our thoughts by remaining a karma yogi that means either soul i'm connected to the supreme soul while doing any action so the right thoughts the right words and the right actions are done each moment and i don't disturb anybody and nobody gets disturbed by me and i am not disturbed by anybody else also so i am a powerful being so how do you do this is what you learn in brahma kumari zone on a daily basis with this complete wisdom om shanti